Hi Anna, my name's Rob, I'm from Derby, I'm 47 years old, I have to think about that. Uh, thank you for this platform, allowing people to share their opinions, their viewpoints, their ideas. Um, again, thank you for the platform because just like you, you're frustrated with mainstream media, I'm frustrated with mainstream media, it seems like they will never ever allow counter narrative to go to be broadcast and there is a counter narrative and when you go online you can hear many voices from virologists immunologists epidemiologists a lot that have a counter narrative that just basically destroys what's being perpetuated on mainstream media now i like to put things into perspective so in regards to covid19 when i will sometimes debate with people, I like to help them put things into perspective because what's happened with the mainstream media, they've caused a lot of fear. They've caused a lot of fear in people. So what I usually say to people is, uh, I talk about the percentages and the stats. Now they say 100% that have been tested positive of COVID-19 80% are asymptomatic, which means that they're healthy. Now, the World Health Organization, I think her name was Maria Van Kirk, I can't remember. She said that asymptomatic people do not spread the virus. The next day, she came out and gave a lot of incoherent gibberish, trying to backtrack on what she said. But basically, asymptomatic people do not spread the virus. That's what she said. Of the further 20%, 99 of those who show symptoms, that is, 99.75% of those recover. Most of those recover from being isolated at home or medication. But 99.75% recover. Of those who sadly pass away, that's 0.25. Of those 0.25% that pass away, there's a high majority of those who have other comorbidities or are elderly or have weakened immune systems. Who knows? But there's a high percentage of those 0.25 who fit into that category. But then you've also got to take on board, especially in this country and I believe America and in Italy, where they've overinflated the numbers. They've, of those 0.25 that have died, we know that they've been putting COVID-19 on death certificates when they've obviously died from something else. They've tested people for COVID-19 and although they're positive for COVID-19, they're asymptomatic and they've died of something else, could be one month, two months, three months after, and they put it down as a COVID-19 death. You can see this on the BBC News, 10 o'clock news, every night, where it actually says, for any reason a person dies after being tested positive, they will go down as a COVID-19 death. So of that 0.75 recovered, the 0.25, we can see that they've basically falsified a lot of the death certificates. So I would put it down to 99.9% of all people who have tested positive for COVID-19 have not died of COVID-19, which means it's 0.1% that maybe I've died of COVID-19. So with a recovery rate like this, number one, we shouldn't be worried the way we're worried. Number two, we definitely do not need a vaccine, especially if it's one from Bill Gates. And number three, we need to be getting out and socialising as normal and getting things back to normal and not this new normal which I consider is uh, abnormal. So, looking at all those perspective, looking at all those stats, and putting everything into perspective, we really should not be worried about this thing that they're calling a pandemic. 
Someone said uh, on one of your videos, viruses are invisible, pandemics are not. So pandemics should be seen. And I have not seen anything of a pandemic here. So, again, thank you very much for giving us this platform, Anna. I've loved all the videos, all the different perspectives, viewpoints. Um, I've listened to a lady from Australia. They must be really going through it over in Australia. Um, it's pure tyranny over there now. And the same in New Zealand, pure tyranny. And we need to all wake up, fight this battle and really get our countries back. Get Get back to living okay thanks a lot bye